this team is unstoppable. All right, so what is up, y'all? It's Legendary EA back here for another rebuild, and we're doing a future one. So as you guys can see, the Timberwolves just won the championship. Kristen is the MVP, and that's the team that we will be rebuilding. So obviously, this will not be a super hard rebuild. And your Carl Anthony Towns has been getting injured a lot. But other than that, if you guys want to see more of these future rebuilds in 2020 and so on, let me know in the comment section below. Let's see. For the next one, let's get 285 likes, and then we're going to get that thing popped. So basically, Carl Anthony Towns, like I said before, y'all, he has been getting hurt, but we will be rebuilding the 2025 Minnesota Timberwolves. So looking at this team, we have been clearly dominating the NBA. Towns has been balling for us. Uh, yeah, he's he's been getting hurt a lot. I'm not gonna even lie. He's been getting hurt a lot. He even had one season. He even had one season where he played 12 games, injury prone. But as far as his accomplishments, he is a three-time MVP, two-time NBA champion, six-time All-Star, and yeah, Towns, he's been killing it. Next up, we got Chris Dunn, Andrew Wiggins, Zach Levine is still on the team, Roderick, Kohan, Tyler Luden. Tyler Eulis. What? Stop playing with my name. Let's go on there. Let's go. Stop playing with my fucking name. Kevin Love is back on the squad. I see that boy. He decided to come back to Minnesota. Looks like three-time NBA champion. Hassan Whiteside is on the team. Doesn't really do much, but he does have a ring now. Archie Shark, Ricky Rubio, Derek Rose. What? Okay. Okay. One minute of game. I see you, boy. Cole Aldridge. Randolph, Will Serger, I don't even know, and Michael Blackman. But this team should be easy to rebuild. It should be fun. And this team could actually look like this in the future, you guys. If this young core of four can just develop, this team could honestly be unstoppable. So before anything, let's take a look at this league history, and then we're going to get rebuilding. So it's been a long time since the actual season in real life. LeBron did go ahead and 4P as the MVP. Then it was Mark Hill Fox. Then it was Towns, Davis, more Towns, and yo. That was basically his award. As far as Rookie of the Year goes, it, go, it went to Ben Simmons, Mark Hill Folks, Michael Porter, Sharif O'Neal, and some of these auto-generated rookies. Six Man of the Year, same thing. If you guys want to take a look at them, it's right there. So somehow, Towns never won Defense Player of the Year, but this Defense Player of the Year has basically... It stayed in DeAndre's living room. It's It's been his award the entire time, and... Anthony Davis every once in a while, but it was made it was mainly is as far as most improved player goes It was DeAndre Russell, Michael Green, Nikola Vucevic, Emmanuel Moutier, Jason Tatum, Frank N Frank whatever, Devin Booker, and then Devin Booker again. It don't look like he's really starting But I do want to see how this team can do if we rebuild them. We have been dominating the NBA for way too long We just won a championship and it's time. So as far as the, and before anything, you guys, we did just win the championship, like I said before, y'all. Uh, so let's see if we can actually repeat. Let's see if we can win two more championships in, in the next two seasons. And yeah, I think that we can totally do it. So let's get rebuilding. So we could get somebody like Russell Westbrook, but we're negative 30 million. Yeah, we gotta make some moves here. So some people I do want to trade. Although Angel Wiggins and Zach Levine have been balling for us, I do figure we might need to trade one of them uh their their production isn't all that neither is i think i'm gonna go ahead and trade chris dunn to be honest i might trade chris dunn and some other because i do want to kind of blow up this team and i just keep this team the exact same because that would not be a fun rebuild so let's see if we can actually make any moves and actually let's take a look at free agency but yeah looking into free agency we could get somebody like russell westbrook yeah you know his numbers ain't all that but his assists are better than Chris Dunn's and I don't think has he has not won a championship yet so I do want to win him a championship other than that these free agents are they're bums like to be completely honest but let's see if we can make a trade trading away Chris Dunn and two first round picks well I know that this pretty much defeats the entire point of making this trade but we will be trading Chris Dunn in two first in return for, Le for Malik Monk and a first round pick yo Malik Monk has been killing it for his team and yeah done not so much his assist numbers are all right but we do want to go ahead and make that trade because like i said before i do want to make this you know a little bit a little bit interesting not just keep the exact same team so let's see what we can get for yeah let's let's trade zach with me he he gotta go so we did just make a trade and basically how this went down we sent Zach Levine and all of our picks and Mac in return for Marshall Wheeler and all of the Warriors first round picks and I honestly like that trade uh, Where's he at? 
Wheeler is not even that bad. I mean, he is that bad, but his overall is not that bad. We can probably trade him away. So with that said, we have 800K in cap room. That's still not enough to sign somebody like Russell Westbrook. So let's see if we can actually make that happen. We will be make, and we will be trading these guys to the Lakers for a first round pick. How much money we got now? Three million. All right, let's get a little bit more. And Tyus Jones has been a beast for us, but like I said, I do want to get Russell Westbrook. So yeah, and we want to blow up this team. We just don't. We just don't want to keep on winning championships with the same team. You guys came here for me to make some trades, and that's what I'm about to be doing. All right, so bruh, really, fam. So yeah, we took a lot of L's in free agency, and we missed out on Russell Westbrook. So, yeah, now we don't really have a point guard. So, let's see if we can actually make any types of trades and find a point guard because I'm not rocking with Raul Neto as our point guard. So, let's see if the Magic are willing to trade Markel Folks for Steven Zimmerman and all these first-round picks. Come on, fam. We, we gotta be able to pull in some point guard with, with that. Oh, cool. So, we actually picked up D'Angelo Russell. I didn't expect that happen because we've been getting denied all the time but we did make that trade so now our starting so now our starting line is looking a little bit different for season number one it's going to be D'Angelo Russell, Malik Monk, Andrew Wiggins, Tyler Lydon and Carl Anthony Towns now I do want to see if I can get a better power forward seeing as I have so many picks let's see um Jabari Park that'd be all right but I really want somebody who's above an 80 overall so let's so let's see if we can get this trade to go through Oh, come on, man. Really? I'm, I'm not even really winning. That's the thing. Kind of taking an L on, on that trade. I don't want last thing. All right, y'all y'all got to chill. How about this? All right, so we picked up Justin Jackson and Joel Embiid. Like that trade right there, we're actually going to play Towns at power forward. Just like in college, and we should be good. Yo, this team is looking stacked. We should be able to go back to back and win another championship in season number one. So let's see. His overall was a 91, right? 93. So he's out here making moves. But right now for season number one, our lineup isn't to be D'Angelo Russell, Malik Monk, Andrew Wiggins, Carl Anthony Towns, and Joel Embiid. And hopefully we can come away with a championship. No guarantees, but that would be pretty awesome. And at the end of season number one, this guy wins MVP, Kevin Durant, sixth man in the year, and really, we got nothing? But we, we whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm, I'm confused here. The Hornets coach is coach of the year when they were third in the division, third in the conference. And, and okay, I'm that makes no freaking sense. How does that get him coach of the year? Even though it's not really adding up. But, yo, we should go into the playoffs and we should be everybody. And, yeah, nobody was really even messing with us. Malik Muck is hurt. Great. That's just what we needed. But as far as the standings go, we finished six games in front of the Houston Rockets. And we are clear favorites to win this NBA championship. But with Malik Monk, Marshall Wheeler, we'll have to step up. And hopefully he can get the job done. Because uh, right now, I'm... I don't know. I don't. I don't know what this team can do. But hopefully we can get the dot. Hopefully we can just get the dub, and Towns can just ball for us. Joel Embiid is getting worse as we go along, but hopefully Towns can just keep us in the race as we come on, fam. How we get eliminated in round one? We just won a championship, and the Washington Wizards do go ahead and win a championship. But don't worry. Even though we can't. Even though we won't be able to three P, I do plan on winning a championship next season. So let's get it because no why 2k just played us and we can't go out with the L so unfortunately everybody is gonna be a free agent but I do plan on bringing them back hopefully we don't lose anybody important though so right now it says that we cannot sign Andrew Wiggins and 2k is playing me hold on fam come on chill out all right who, who do I need to cut then because this is this no he has to come back you can go I want to keep Wheeler Kevin Love, he can go. Yeah, he can go. He left us anyway, so yeah, we can leave him. Why? Oh, come on. Oh my freaking goodness. It's, it's going to let me offer him a contract, but... Okay, there we go. So we are able to sign Andrew Wiggins. I, I got really scared there for a second. So let's see if we can actually pick back up Kevin Love, I guess. <laughs> so for season number one, this will be our starting lineup. D'Angelo Russell, Malik Monk, Andrew Wiggins, Carl Anthony Towns, and 
Ivic Zubia. Yeah, he's 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 getting traded, guys. He's getting traded. Don't even worry about that. Let's just see if we can find any better center because we really really need one. And Joel Embiid might not be the answer. So for this season, we decided to move Carl Anthony Towns back to center and start this guy one more time, just like he has. He he actually was our starter for a while, so I think he'll do just fine there. And then we have a lot of bigs coming off the bench, so I do want to see if I can find a better backup point guard. But after that, we should be good and ready to start this season. And I like this trade. We will be bringing back Tyus Jones. Yeah, that's the only reason why. That that's the only reason why I even took that trade, just to bring back Tyus Jones. But other than that, I think this team is ready to win a championship, and I think that we can definitely do it. Yeah, let's 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 run the ten man rotation and let's see what this team can do at the end of season number two. Last season we got hold. This year we gotta win a championship. And at the end of season number two, Markel Folks is the MVP. And Kevin Durant, sixth man of the year, once again putting up 20 points. And coach of the year is Tyron Lue because we won 64 and 18. And his team was cold. Nobody was even stopping us, bro. And we were just killing it. And Carl Anthony Towns did find his, did find his way on an all-NBA first team and all-defensive second team. And any more? Anybody else? That's about it. But, yo, this team was cold. Like I said before, yo, we were the first team once again. And I'm telling you guys, we, got, we have to be able to win a championship. We finished 12 games ahead of the Portland Trailblazers, and, you know, Golden State didn't make the playoffs, so that, that's another good thing. But as far as the stats go, we were laying points by Malik Monk. Next up was Wiggins, Towns, and then D-Loading. But this team can definitely win a championship. I think that we are ready. And let's see if we can go ahead and do it. And before anything, I do have something to actually guess at the end of this video, so stay tuned for that. But, all right, up against the Grizz, let's see what we can do. And we win in five. The San Antonio Spurs, I still think that we can beat them. The team is young. The team is good. Okay, we beat the Mystics. Kind of got scary right there. Up against the Portland Trailblazers in the Western Conference Finals. Where, where are you at, though? What? Okay. Okay, if, if, if 2K wants me to do it to them, let's go sweep them, y'all. And looks like I was right, so we're taking on the seventh seed. Philadelphia 76. Now, this team might be good. They have Kevin Durant as a sixth man. So, but Towns is the best player in the NBA. But let's just see, y'all. They got Ben Simmons, Dennis Smith, Jaleel Okafor, Kevin Durant, Dan. Okay, this team is actually really, really well. And I still think that we can beat them. But it's definitely not going to be easy. So, going into it, y'all, let's see. As we take game one, we. Okay, never mind. Okay, say bye. And we sweep this team. This team was not ready for us. But anyways, y'all, Malik Monk was the Finals MVP, averaging 18 points a game and just doing his thing, shooting 48% from the three and 50% from the field. But, yo, I was, we swept them dudes. I don't know. Don't even ask me. But anyways, hope you guys did enjoy this episode. Like I said before, y'all, get 285 likes for our next one. And this was our final roster. We had Carl Anthony Towns, Malik Monk, DeAngelo Russell, Andrew Wiggins, Zubiak, Jonathan Jean, Tyler Lydon, Joel Embiid, Victor Oladipo, Marshall, Marshall Wheeler, Bryce Johnson, Tyus Jones, Glenn Robinson III, and that's about it. But this team was too cold. This team was too lit. But other than that, y'all, let me know what else you guys want to see. And like I said before, y'all, I do want to tell you guys something. I do want to bring back a my GM. I know that my Lakers didn't. I know that my Lakers won only last like one episode, but I do want to do a my GM. Basically. Basically, I want to build a team around a college superstar, somebody like Lonzo Ball or one of those guys. So let me know if you guys want to see that and which team. I don't want a team with any type of superstar. And if they do have a superstar, I want it to be like, like an old superstar. So maybe the Mavericks. Yeah, maybe. so maybe the Mavericks or a team like that. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys think that's a good idea. But other than that, y'all, it's Legendary EA. We are, dude, I'm telling you guys, this Christmas is about to be lit. So much fire content coming out. And I'm thinking about doing some of my team. Not enough of you guys have been telling you guys want to see it to, to actually make, make me want to do this. But, yo, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys did, make sure to go ahead and slap the like button. And also, please subscribe if you guys are not joining the fam. Because I'm telling you guys, it's it's lit over here. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to lie. But other than that, y'all, it's your boy Legendary EA. Have a great day, and I'm out. Peace, y'all. Heard the barber shots being great debates all the time about who's the best MC, Kendrick Jigger and Nas. Eminem, Andre 3000, the rest of y'all.